Well, howdy do, I am back at White River, if you recognize my surroundings here. I saw uh, on Facebook that they had put a new stout on, Shadow Rock stout, this is 8%, I'm not sure of the IBUs. I tell you, on the nose is huge, huge, huge chocolate. A little bit of coffee around there, but the chocolate is monstrous on the nose. Oh, wow, that's nice. Uh, wow. I don't know what the IBUs are on this, but it feels very hoppy, actually. It feels extremely hoppy. It's, uh, the mouth feels not quite as big as you, you would think. Uh, it is 8%, uh, but I'm going to classify it as medium body, personally. Oh, wow, that's beautiful. Um, it's very creamy, very velvety. Um, sort of somewhere between a milk and a dark chocolate. It's not at 70% dark. It's not as sweet as milk. It's somewhere in that middle ground there. Uh, the coffee becomes more apparent on the palate than on the nose. Of course, uh, this is fairly chill coming out of here, so I'm, that may change and evolve as it warms up. Dad. I'm going to take a shot in the dark on IBUs. I'm going to say it's got about 60 to 65 because uh, it cleans up beautifully at the end. It dries right out. I mean, 8%, you might think it'd be you know, classified as an imperial stat or a dry stat. Um, but it does feel more like a big, great big dry stout, the way it feels in the body, and also the way it cleans up right at the end. It's got the feel of just a great big dry stout. Yeah, it finishes very dry for the style, which is absolutely beautiful. Oh, yeah, babe. Um, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna cut this short because I'm gonna let this warm up, and I may come back and do an addendum here. After this warms up to see what if I'm getting any, any anything else happens, man. Well, how to do? <laughs> I'm, I'm still with the stout here because uh, I thought it would change a little bit as it warms up. It's probably coming out a little bit colder than you want a beer like this to be. I mentioned early on, I, I felt huge chocolate on the nose with a little bit of coffee. I'm getting more coffee, balancing that chocolate out as it warms. On the palate, I mentioned first that it felt like somewhere between a milk and a dark chocolate. It wasn't quite as sweet as a milk, it wasn't quite as bitter as dark. You do get that early on, but it does kind of bitter out as you get to the end. You get these real pleasant, bitter, dark chocolate notes right at the end. And just the way this thing dries up is just beautiful to me. But there is, a, early on I was getting much more chocolate than coffee, and now as I let it warm, I'm getting a, a, a nice balance of coffee and chocolate. This is a beautiful stout. I mean, this is a place I recommend to a lot of folks. Uh, I've got some friends that are, <laughs> their son is moving to town, so this is a place I want to take them when they come to town. Uh, my buddy Moose, I've done some videos with. So uh, when he comes down, this is the place I really want to get him to, amongst the other you know, breweries and brew pubs in the area. But I think for him and his taste, that I think this is the one that's going to be right up his alley and, uh, and, and, and a type of, of tap room that it is. I think this is the place uh, he's going to want to see. So this is the one I really want to get him to. Uh, so anyway, I think that's about all I'm going to add here. There's more beers I'm going to get to later. So this is Tom the Beer Whisper. I'm having a heck of a time with this uh, Shadow Rock Stout 8%. Wow.